Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building seven use cases of machine learning using Android. Till now, we have covered how to set up your Android Studio, set up your virtual device or emulator, how to handle permissions, and how to get an image from the user's phone. In this video, we will continue by integrating the MLKit library and doing some image classification on top of it. So let's begin. So let's go back to our Android Studio project and uh, the first thing that we will do is to add the library. So for that, go to the left side Android pane and under Gradle scripts. This will be closed in most of the scenarios. Just open this Gradle scripts and you're looking for a file called build.gradle. Now there are two build.gradle. The one that you're looking for says module ml series demo.app. double click on this file and then scroll down to dependencies now this dependencies is the place where we actually add the third party libraries or any external libraries that we want to use so i'll just add So I'll just add the library here. So it is com.google.mlkit colon image labeling colon 17.0.5. Okay, only one L. So com.google.mlkit image hyphen labeling and the version is 17.05. So once you write this, click on the sync now and Google will start integrating the library with your Android project. Okay, so the library is successfully added. You can see the build was successful. So now let's go to our image helper activity. And uh, so there are two steps. First, we define the image labeler or the image classification object. And then we pass the bitmap that we are getting from the Android intent to this image labeler to get the different labels or classifications of our image. So let's define so image labeler. You can see it will be under com.google.mlkit vision label. So we'll just name the variable as image labeler. And in on create itself, after we define our variables, we will initialize it. So image labeler is image labeler is equal to so image labeling dot get client so we'll just use the default options for now because we're not using any custom build or uh, any custom options so image labeler options dot builder So we'll just set the confidence threshold to 70%. So we have to set it to a number between one, uh, zero and one. So it will be 0.7f and dot build. Okay. So our image labeler object is defined. It is ready to accept bitmaps. So for that, let us define a new method. So private void run, let's name it run uh, classification. And we'll pass the bitmap here. Okay. So first thing, the image labeler needs is an input image. So we can just create the input image using the bitmap. So we will assume here that the image is not rotated. So we'll just give the rotation degrees as zero. Sometimes when you're using the camera, the user might rotate his phone. So this rotation degrees comes in handy there. 
So once we have the input image, we will pass this input image to the image labeler. So image labeler dot process input image dot. So the process has some listeners. So one will be success listener and one will be failure listeners. So we'll add both of them on success listener. So you can see studio has pre-filled most of the stuff for us and then we'll just add a failure listener then we'll come back to our success one okay so in failure we will just print the stack trace we're not doing any extra processing there but in success you can see that we are getting a list of image labels now, if the if the size is greater than zero, then we know that the image labeler was able to identify some of the objects or some it was able to classify the image. Otherwise, we will just set the output as should not classify. So if it was able to classify, we will have multiple image labels. So what we'll do is we'll create a string which will have these multiple labels which are uh, which will be written on separate new lines. So we will use a string builder. String builder is used in Java to combine strings. So we'll be using that to make our jobs a little easier. And then for each label or so for each label in image labels we will do a builder dot append label dot get text dot append colon and then append the confidence score and then finally we will also append a new line character so that the next label comes on the new line so run classification is ready our image labeler object is ready now we just have to call this run classification method once we get the bitmap so if you remember we were getting the bitmap in the on activity result and we were creating bitmap from the uri so here itself we can call run classification on the same bitmap object okay so the build has finished uh, the app is getting installed and uh, now when we go to the image activity and then we pick an image so i've also uploaded all these images in a onedrive uh, in a onedrive folder uh, the link is in the description you can copy these images from there okay so i think we forgot to set the text view after we create the image so yeah silly mistake so after we create the string builder string we need to set it also so set text builder dot to string sorry for that so now let's rerun the app so go to image activity pick image and here so if I, this is, this is an image from London where you can see buses, people and roads and buildings. So the same thing, the classifier is able to detect. There might be more classification, but because we have given the 70% threshold, it's only displaying these four top ones. 
So you can see how e easy it is to just add the MLKit code. We only need to set up our Android app properly. So in the next video, we will start working with the camera. We will see how to get images using the camera. And then after that, we will continue with other use cases. So if you are more interested in learning Android using Kotlin, the new programming language, which is now recommended for building Android apps, I have a very detailed course on my own YouTube channel. Please do check it out. We will continue building these seven use cases in the next video. See you there.